G'day, I'm Grant from Motion, and today I have with me Richard from Loctite. G'day, Richard. Thanks, Grant, for having me. So I see we were talking today about the Loctite primers. We are yeah. Loctite primer activators, yeah. and the one I've got in front of us today is the Loctite 7649. It is the most common recommended activator primer for the majority of our anaerobic products. So tell me, why am I reaching for this can? I mean, why don't I just go straight to the bottle of success? Why would I pick up that? It is part of a full solution package. Mm -hmm. um, we should normally be cleaning first, yep. and then we should consider, okay, what are our base materials? Um, is it an active metal or an inactive metal? How quickly do I need the piece of equipment back mm -hmm. up and running? Um, and am I concerned about the temperature? Is it really cold? Is my curing time gonna be really long? So they're the three considerations. Fantastic, so I mean, I suppose if you're really concerned about or focused around what the outcome looks like, yep. That's the product that's going to give Absolutely. you that. Absolutely. Yep. You, you, what you want to do is you want to have a look at the task at hand, mm -hmm. say, okay, what do I need to achieve? Mm -hmm. Refer to the technical mm -hmm. data sheet or speak to one of the motion professionals mm -hmm. or an application engineer and say, okay, is it an active metal? If it's brass, bronze, copper mm -hmm. or mild steel, that's going to be an active metal. Mm -hmm. If it's stainless steel, mm -hmm. zinc coated, gal, it's inactive. It's not going to rust when it's left out in the environment. And this is where this comes into play. We need to make sure, because as you know with anaerobics, yep. they love active metal, so we need to make sure that the metal is active and that the curing process will start and it will go from a liquid to a thermoset plastic. So this is key, yep. it, kicks it off, kicks off the process. The other two considerations are gonna be, is it really cold? Yep. If it's really cold, it takes Loctite a long time to cure, mm -hmm. speeds up the process. And the second one is, if I really wanna get it sped up, because I need equipment to get back in service. And that's a big challenge these days, isn't it? We want to get back in production, back online, back manufacturing, producing, whatever it is. So it's interesting that this product here really, I suppose, sets the tone. Yep, downtime is money, as we know. If we're not producing, mm -hmm. it's costing our business money. Um, so this is really getting equipment back up and running as quick as possible. Fantastic, so getting equipment back up and running really fast is important to you, and you'd like to know a little bit more about this product. Where we do our best work is when we come to site with you, and with people like Richard. Please reach out to any one of our stores nationally for more information.